Hi, my name is Liz Hathaway and this is my astrological look at the coming week. Week starts, of course, today, Monday. We have a lovely earthy uh, Capricorn moon, so it's a great grounded start of the week. Although the, there is a, a square to Uranus later on in the day, which might give rise to some frustration, particularly if um, we haven't done as much as we planned. And that's the thing, Capricorn Moon is quite ambitious with regard to uh, things that have to happen. Uh, it's a mixed uh, bag, actually, this week. Moon goes into Aquarius on Tuesday, um, but we also have Venus square Saturn on Tuesday. So Venus is in Aries. Uh, so like I said last week, this is a kind of a fiery Venus, an impulsive Venus, uh, you know, and if you think of father as, um, you know, Saturn as the father, then you can sort of imagine the sort of uh, clash between uh, freedom and rules and restrictions and responsibilities. And this gives rise to friction, which is the nature of the square. It creates friction. Um, but again, it really is about, you know, being, being willing to slow down. Venus in Aries is very, um, you know, wants to forge ahead. Saturn saying, hey, look, you know, read the small print. Don't forget Mercury's also in Aries. Take your time here, slow down. But there is a sort of rebellious quality to Venus square Saturn. But again, it's really about taking things, um, taking responsibility for things. And um, yeah, just generally, um, yeah, just, just doing, being prepared to do the grind and not be too hasty. And this is a bit of a theme that we see as well later in the week, because what we have on the same day that Venus squares Saturn, we have Jupiter uh, a, a, a trying in the sun. So in a way, Venus and Saturn can also be about ends, ends of alliances, ends of um, certain types of relationship. But then, you know, the old adage, one door closes, which is very Venus square Saturn, another door opens. So there's also a sense here on Tuesday of um, new opportunities. However, Jupiter is currently retrograde. So um, in that respect, we have to um, sort of recognise that the benefits that we can get now um you know with this door opening um they might not be uh, immediate this might be the kind of uh, benefits that we need some time to really uh, see bear fruition so we have to have a bit of patience which is also a great uh, saturn lesson so um you know with saturn square venus and sun trying jupiter it's also a kind of saying to us yeah focus a bit on longer term projects as well things that will materialise later. Don't be too hasty. As I said, Venus in Aries is very well. Let's just do it. You know, let's go. Wednesday, we have Mars in Sag, uh, coming on to the end of Sag, because it's going to move into Capricorn, the sign of its exaltation later in the week. So um, this is a sort of call to us to act in accordance with our own higher inner nature. You know, there's a sort of um, a, a tendency with Mars in Sag square Chiron to not always maybe act out of our inner wisdom, but to, you, you know, allow a philosoph philosophy or a thought or an idea of how it should be to guide our actions, that we're not acting in accord with our own higher interests in a way. So we might work against ourselves there on Wednesday. Thursday has Mercury trying the node, which is not a huge aspect, but then again, it's a further indication that, you know, think things through, um, think about your longer term uh, aims. The North Node is very future orientated as well. And with that Jupiter retrograde at the moment, long term plans are sort of being slowed down a little bit. We need to do the thorough groundwork and look at the financial implications, etc, etc. Because Scorpio is a, a sign that's to do with security, to do with a lot to do with finances as well. Um, Friday we have a little interesting uh, moon thing going on, the moon sextile Saturn and then itself conjuncts Neptune. So the moon here is like a binding factor, she's joining these two principles of Saturn and Neptune. So it's um, there's a great deal of idealism around, um, this is also affecting our um, feeling nature. And uh, yeah, you know, there's this uh, tendency as well with Mars moving into Saturn, uh, it's into Saturn sign and where Pluto is later in the week. Um, you know, we have to keep it real and we have to ground things. We have a new moon on Saturday, 
which um, again Jupiter rules so it's a, we're laying an egg if you like which will take a while to hatch and on the same day we have Mars moving into Capricorn but we also have Mars moving out of bounds now so uh, you know we do have to um, yeah be careful with Mars and, I find Mars in Capricorn is a bit of a, a slave driver that's what I call it it's, it's a little bit um, heavyweight uh, it's very concerned with um, what has to happen and there's not enough feeling involved and you can estrange people from you if you take that kind of approach you said you do it now do it yeah, and it does bring results but there's not a lot of fun in it and certainly when Mars moves into that position between Saturn and Pluto when it becomes besieged because I consider Pluto myself to be a malefic you know so Mars is going to be between a rock and a hard place soon so we do have to keep very much, you know, in tune with our feeling nature. There's this new moon in Pisces on the same day. You know, uh, Chiron also still in Pisces. You know, higher wisdom, longer term. Don't go for the short term payoff. But, you know, think a little bit, you know, more holistically and on a grander scale. And then on Sunday we have um, the moon in uh, Aries uh, conjuncting Venus. So this is a great day for um, sports, for... Uh, letting off steam in a, in, in a positive way. It's a really interesting week and I have a lot more to say about this Mars out of bounds because you know Mars out of bounds is no longer following the rules of the game. So people whose charts are really picking up on Mars now are you know entering into um, new territory in some area of their life. Anyway wishing you a fantastic week and speak to you again. Bye.